the last one on this menu, the rate stretch tool, right down here. I'm going to use my letter R to change it. Watch it change. There it goes. The rate stretch tool, change the time. I don't really use this as much. I usually use the control R option here. If I select a clip here, let's select this last one and hit control R, it brings up this time changing uh, feature. Uh, I will have a separate episode coming up on this on rate stretching, on changing your time, on speed ramping as well. Uh, but with that clip selected there, if I hit if I hit R for the rate stretch tool, you can go to the end of the clip. You can grab this uh, clip at the end. It has to have uh, something. It has to have an open end on this clip. Because if, if you try to rate stretch this to the left, it's not going to work because you're, you're getting blocked there. You can rate stretch it to the right, which will shorten it, and it actually just change the timing on this clip. Uh, what that does is actually speeds up the clip. This clip is now playing back at 145 percent. If you make it shorter, it's going to play faster. It keeps its, it maintains the clips in point and out point. This is not a trim tool. And you grab this and stretch it out to the right. What that does is basically slows this down. And now I play this back. And it's playing at 33% of the original speed. So that's helpful to kind of quickly change the speed of a tool, of, of a clip, but I like doing it with a little bit more accuracy by selecting the clip, hitting Control R or Command R, and now I can change it to 30% exactly if I want to. Hit Enter, and it does the same thing as the Rate Stretch tool. So that's kind of, in my opinion, a little bit of a useless tool because you can just hit Control R and you really get it to the exact percentage that you need it to. All right, the next episode I'm going to be going over the Razor tool.